Welcome my friends, Ash20X here, and today we're gonna review the iOS Go Master, iOS 11 Go Master in the iPhone 5S. Since this is the only device that Apple will support uh, in this version, we're gonna review the basic stack so and go to settings, applications, Safari, and some games. So let's go. Ash20X games, tutorials, unboxings, reviews. I'm happy to help you. And remember, subscribe to my channel in order to receive new content. Of course, the first thing that we're gonna uh, see are the new things. So we're gonna lock the device. And remember, this is a 5S. This, as you can see here, this is the 5S. So we're gonna we're gonna start to digging in the device itself. So the first thing that we're gonna do, of course, we're gonna see which is the notification center. So we're gonna go here, and when you're gonna scroll down, it's gonna load the all this notification here. So as you can see here, if you wanna clean them, you just have to press the X here and it's gonna clean those. If you don't have no, no notification, then it's gonna not gonna open. And I don't know why Apple do this. I believe it's because for the iPhone newest device, for the iPhone uh, 8 and 9, but for now, we're gonna stick with this device right now. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, open the control center right here. And as you can see, there are the new toggles and everything is going to work just fine. So for some reason, uh, this device don't have 3D touch, but for some reason, if I go here, you see can, that I the animation of 3D touch is looking right there. I'm not sure why, but it's there. Uh, but eventually, I think Apple will patch this. So it depends on them. Anyways, continuing. Uh, the airplane mode, the cellular data mode, and the locks uh, mode. We're gonna lock this. We're gonna list the device here, and also right here. If you continue to press, then you're gonna see here this, and this is the music section. If you have something in your device, it's gonna appear here, and it's gonna show you the name of the device that is running right there. But this is really good. So if you're gonna go back, then you're gonna press without the without the box you're gonna press here and then here you're gonna go back or you just spread home remember that the lattice device would not have the home button so they don't going to use that instead they're gonna use the face to unlock the device all right we're gonna dig in in the home screen right now we're gonna put the password and there's a, uh, a slight change in the numbers as you can see here and the first thing that we're going to see, of course, is in settings, we're going to see a very important part that will be uh, general about, and as you can see here, the pin number will be 50A, A, 50A372. This is the build number, as you can see here, and this corresponds for the Gold Master. And if you want to install this version, I'm going to provide in the description a certificate that you will need in order to install this before it, it arrives to the public. So we're going to open a few maps. We're going to open uh, apps, calendars, photos, camera, in order to see which is the performance of the device. So we're going to start to mail. Mails just open fine, calendar. Just fine. Photos. Good. We're gonna go here. The camera app, of course, it's gonna take a little bit more time, but I see that it's more a little faster when taking pictures. As you can see here, if I wanna take a picture, it's gonna go ahead and take the pictures with a slight sh uh, lag, but it's not that bad. And video, of course, uh, remember this device can support 180 180 uh, uh, resolution so it's gonna take uh, really good pictures and the, the camera settings is gonna really get good and remember you're gonna go you're gonna have the slow motion activate in this device so you can use this instead if you want to use that um, continuing to the device we're gonna open maps and maps just working fine really good um, the performance is really good. We're gonna go to another place. We're gonna go here and we're gonna put the device to do some tests. So we're gonna hit go. And as you can see here, it's working just fine. Um, nothing at all. I don't see any problems with the device. Uh, if you're planning to install this uh, in your device, um, wow, well, look at that, really good. So as you wanna press, it's show you the 
with a notification part for a big part so anyways we're gonna hit the clock and clock just gonna open fine and we're gonna open here and everything is just fine start watch and clock of course uh, the water up so in Madison, in Madison, Wisconsin, we got 58. And right here in Puerto Rico, San Juan, we got 88. As lag chance, as lag, there's a little lag there, as you can see. I'm not sure why there's a lag there, but I'm not, I don't like this part. It's really annoying when you do this. There's a lag and I don't like that. Anyways, continuing to the notes. And, um, we're gonna review, we're gonna do a test right here. Of course, we're gonna press, and what we're gonna do right here is uh, we're gonna press this little button and we're gonna dictate this device so the device can write. So, let's go. This is a test. I'm going to review the iPhone 5S running iOS 11 GM no I, I believe the last part it won't understand that but as you can see it is working just fine I'm deleting this and we're gonna go here and I'm gonna type right here because uh, people uh, uh, has been experienced a little lag in the keyboard and this is important for the persons uh, for the folks there that are trying to type in the device so hey my friend how how hey my friend how are you i don't know how to type that but i hope it is okay and we're gonna draw something uh we're gonna uh go here and it's gonna open this and we're gonna go and select green we're gonna select the market and we're gonna start to write as you can see a uh, green um, we're gonna try this. I'm not going in draw, so excuse me guys, but as you can see here, it is not well, it's not perfect, but you know, it's a heart, but I have a sad say. Anyways, we're gonna go to the reminders and reminders gonna open just fine of course. Uh stocks and I don't know who the hell use stocks, but people use that uh for the actions. So people uh use that and if you have got a tv provider you can use this instead um like ibooks uh ibooks is a little slow if you have a pdf or a books inside your your device it's gonna take a little bit to read them but eventually it's gonna read those so i'm not sure but as you can see here it's working just fine um my books there's nothing here so the most important part the iTunes store and the app stores so the iBook store the app stores and the iTunes stores are running well but when you are in iBooks when you try to read a PDF or a book it's gonna take a little bit of time to load all the so you have to keep that in mind but everything is working just fine as you can see here the movie section has been changed now it's more dark and it is working fine we're gonna go to the app stores and in the app store you're gonna get the new things right here this is the welcome part when you are in the main page you're gonna see everything uh, and category so you can see everything from there if you select games then you're gonna see that and then the app section right here a small lag but it's not that bad so what we're gonna do right here I'm gonna try to download something I don't know um, the water channel of course since we had a uh, lattice hurricane um, we are being uh, having a few problems right here in Puerto Rico. We're gonna get this and get this. So it's gonna ask me possible uh, password for doing that. But anyways, what we're gonna do here, as you can see, this is a new animation. If you have uh, the iOS 11 version installed, you're gonna press install and then it's gonna ask you for your password. And we're gonna do sign in. 
and it's gonna start to download as you can see a little good animation right there and then it's gonna start to do it so now it's gonna start to download it so it's gonna you would like to use the touch ID for purpose yeah okay it's gonna ask me for the passcode I'm gonna press four times one and then I'm gonna hit okay and um, now we're gonna go to the web and what I'm gonna try to do is to press to see how this is a performance uh, again no all right processing and let me go here and we're gonna press remember this is the all these devices you have to keep that in mind that this will be uh, the 5s will be the oldest device and remember this is the device that came with with 2013 with iOS 7 when it when arrived and of course it is it's kind of old you see um, it is awesome that Apple uh, make support for this device but uh, over the time of course uh, the device gets slower and slower and slower over the time so you have to keep that in mind but as you can see here everything is just working just fine and this is a score that is the score and I'm gonna see I'm gonna go to very important part I'm gonna go to the speed test and it's fighting the device right here and we're gonna start to begin the test but before I'm waiting for this to finish so the water channel has been installed and there's and the CNN in, has been installed so there's there's no problem of course we're gonna go here now and we're gonna open the speed test of course it's gonna take a little bit but what I want to see is the speed uh, running in this device so we're gonna begin the test So we got a really good score. We're gonna do right now, we're gonna go to YouTube. And um, YouTube is an application that sometimes it's gonna take a little bit of time. Um, if you want to install iOS 11 for some reason, uh, I'm gonna provide a certificate in the description, but also you can see the instruction in order to do that. But we're gonna go here and also speak Spanish. So this uh, channel got uh, Spanish and English stuff. So if you're looking forward to to see uh, and if you want to help me for the people that speak Spanish too you can uh, give this a start here but see here for some reason I oh, remember I like the I need to press here and then it's gonna open here but as you can see here it is working just fine I'm gonna press here and it's working just fine. The animation, as you can see here, a little bit. But previous mentioning, as you can see here, I press here and there's a YouTube app right here. So I press here, it's gonna change me to the video again. But working a little laggy, a laggy experience, but it's not that bad. Remember the oldest device, this is the Marciano phone. Um, there's a little bit of uh, a survive here, but I don't gonna press anything. I'm gonna submit the survive. But as you can see here, it is working just fine. Uh, greetings to all my uh, my folks, friends uh, from from the world and completely world, and for my cell phone, everything Apple Pro, uh, everyone. Um, PTC and it's another good uh, YouTuber that you can see stuff from them. But as you can see here, it is working just fine. These are the new things. I'm gonna slow us the audio here and we're gonna see the apps. But yeah, it is working fine. As you can see here, this is Unbox Therapy uh, channel. And as you can see here, it is working just 
fine right here and i'm gonna call, close this and for the people that's wondering uh, uh how performs the social media i'm gonna open just facebook for now uh because a lot of people a lot of folks use the devices for running uh of course uh social media applications so as you can see here uh Redmond Pi, I subscribe to these guys, a really good uh, source of information. So you wanna go get there and subscribe to their channel. They got a lot of stuff uh, to read. And as you can see here, Facebook's just up and fine, no problem whatsoever. Um, if you're planning to use this device uh, with iOS 11, uh, I recommend that you install this because it's more faster than before. I remember the first beta, it was slow, but now it is working just fine. Um, wow, and um, yeah. You get the idea um but yeah guys uh you get the idea that this is working just fine uh no problems whatsoever and if you're looking for me my channel uh us 20x uh you can go here and talk to me directly right here you can of course interact with me and if you're looking for my twitter account of course you're gonna go there and talk to me but for now uh, the last test that i'm gonna do of course is to go to apple website and we're gonna refresh all this and I'm I'm looking forward to go to see the new iPhone and so as possible I'm really excited to see which is the new things so expect that uh, in the future in this channel so this is the big X right here and everybody is looking forward to to have this device a lot of people are already pro order this device so if you're looking for this device it's gonna be very amazing device um, I'm planning to get myself the, the iPhone 8, nor the iPhone 10. But if you're looking forward to to buy the iPhone S, of course, go ahead. It's a really amazing device. And if you have the money, you can spend whatever you want with your money. You, you see a lot of people uh, criticize uh, the price of Apple products. So I'm not like... I'm not the, the Apple fanboy, but it's, you have your own, your own money. This is your money. You can spend whatever you want. Of course, uh, it is a really amazing device and I'm really planning to. Anyways, uh, as you can see here, everything is just working fine. Uh, the web browser experience in the iPhone 5S is working really nice. So it's your planning, of course, go ahead. And by the way, guys, I'm going to... Uh, end this video because I got a lot of stuff to do. I got a, a lot of books to read and stuff like that. And yeah, um, I'm in college right now and you guys rocks. But I'm gonna give you this chord. Uh, ah, for the for the last part, of course, we're gonna go to the key bench, of course, to see what is the performance. Uh, very important part, uh, key bench, uh, to see what is the score of the device so we're gonna hit cpu and we're gonna run the key bench right here as you can see 1388 for the single score and 2204 for the multiple score and a really good scores um yeah uh it is a really amazing device it's been come from 2013 and has been with us and yeah this will be the latest year that apple will support this device so i hope that you like this review i'm taking a lot of time doing this stuff so uh i really like uh please like this video and subscribe to my channel in order to receive new content and thank you for everything my friends it's a really uh long journey with this device and um, this device i really respect this device this is one of my favorite device because it got a great history with me and I really love this device and some folks uh, give me this device. Uh, so thank you for the person that gave me this. Uh, I got a mail account if you want same stuff to my mail, you can do so. But anyways, I hope you like this video. As always, like and subscribe. Um, yeah, guys, it is all right here. So goodbye, my friends, and Austrian S signing out.